Hey everyone, Ryan here. This video will be a comparison between Beehive versus ConvertKit. Which one is better for newsletters? These two platforms are popular for creating and managing newsletters. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of which platform might be the best fit for your newsletter needs, whether you're just starting out or looking to scale your existing newsletter business. And by the way, if you grab the link in our description box down below, then you can try Beehive for free for 30 days. It's a great way to test the platform out as we talk about its features and showcase how it can be beneficial for you. So Beehive is a platform that I personally find quite impressive. What stands out about Beehive for me is its user-friendly interface and the wide array of features that makes newsletter creation not just easy, but also enjoyable. When you first log into Beehive, you're greeted with a clean, intuitive dashboard. The centerpiece of this dashboard is the Start Writing button. This is where the magic happens and it is the gateway to Beehive's powerful newsletter creation tools. If you click on it, it will take you to the writing interface that looks very similar to Notion if you know about that productivity tool. So if you're familiar with Notion, you will feel right at home here. But even if you're not, then Beehive's interface is intuitive enough that you will quickly get the hang of it. One of the most useful features of Beehive's writing interface is the slash command. By simply typing slash, you will see a drop-down menu appear with various elements that you can add to your newsletter. You will see a drop-down menu appear with various elements that you can add to your newsletter. And this includes everything from basic formatting options like lists and bullet points to advanced features such as dynamic tags. Another great thing about Beehive is how easy it is to add interactive elements to your newsletter. For example, we can add a subscribe button using the slash command, and this makes it very easy to your readers to share your newsletter with others, helping you grow your audience and so on. On the right hand side of the interface, you will find options to further customize your newsletter. You can set the subject line, add preview text, and even include SEO elements if you plan to publish your newsletter on your website. The delivery settings allow you to specify who receives your newsletters, giving you fine-grained control over your audience. And you can segment your subscribers and send different content to different people, which is a fantastic option for personalization. And once you're happy with your creation, you can preview it to see how it will look like on both websites and mobile devices. This is crucial in today's mobile first world. You can also send a test email to yourself, save your newsletter as a template for future use, or schedule it for publication at a later date. But this website is not just about creating great looking newsletters. It also offers powerful tools to help you grow and engage your audience. One of these is their automation feature available on their scale plan, as this allows you to set up automatic emails triggered by specific events, such as welcoming new subscribers or following up with readers who haven't opened your newsletter in a while. It's a powerful tool for nurturing your audience and building engagement. Another area where Beehive really shines is in helping you grow your subscriber base. They offer a referral program that incentivizes your current readers to bring in new subscribers. So you can set up like a kind of reward system, offering a sticker pack or exclusive content to the readers who refer a certain number of new subscribers. It's all integrated seamlessly into the platform, so you don't need to use separate tools to manage your referral program. In terms of pricing, Beehive offers a free plan for up to 2,500 subscribers. Now for the other plans, you can choose how many subscribers that you can have. So for example, if you want up to 1,000 subscribers on top of all the different features such as 3D analytics, Beehive AI, survey forms and polls, etc., then the price per month would be $31.20. And if let's say you started with a free plan and you still want to keep your 2,500 subscribers, then you would have to pay around $47 per month for that. If you need these other features as well, then you would have to pay up to $103 per month. If you want to add your own branding into the newsletter instead of Beehives, that's pretty much the most important feature here. Now let's go ahead and talk about the other platform, ConvertKit. While it is a popular platform with a loyal user base, I personally find it less comprehensive compared to Beehive. The user interface is simpler, which some users might prefer, but this simplicity sometimes comes at the cost of functionality. When you log into ConvertKit, you're presented with a clean, minimalist dashboard. The main sections are clearly laid out, broadcasts for one-off emails, sequences for automated email series, and snippets for reusable content blocks. The straightforward layout can be appealing, especially for those who might be overwhelmed by too many options. Now let's take a closer look at creating a newsletter in ConvertKit. When you click to create a new broadcast, you are given the option to start from scratch or use a template. The templates are clean and professional, which can be a good starting point. However, the customization options are more limited compared to Beehive in my opinion. The email editor in ConvertKit is functional but basic. You can add text, images, and buttons, adjust some styling options like colors and fonts. 
However, you don't have the same level of flexibility as you do in Beehive. For example, there is no slash command for quickly adding different types of content. Now, one area where ConvertKit does shine is in its automation features. They offer a wide range of pre-built automation templates for common scenarios like welcoming new subscribers, launching a product, or re-engaging inactive subscribers. These templates can be a great starting point, especially for those who are new to email marketing automation. ConvertKit's sequence builder is also quite intuitive. You can easily set up series of emails to be sent out at specific intervals. And this can be useful for things like email courses or onboarding sequences for new subscribers. And when it comes to growing your subscriber base, ConvertKit offers some basic tools. They provide landing pages and forms that you can use to collect email addresses. These are customizable to an extent, allowing you to match them to your brand. However, they don't offer the same level of advanced growth features that Beehive does, such as the referral program or paid acquisition tools. As for the pricing, ConvertKit offers a free plan for up to 10,000 subscribers. You do get one basic visual automation and one email sequence, but you still get unlimited landing pages, unlimited opt-in forms, and so much more. So theoretically, you can actually use this platform for absolutely free. And if you wanted to upgrade your plan and use the features for up to 1,000 subscribers, then you would have to pay $25 per month. And it's worth mentioning that these prices might seem a little bit lower than Beehive at first glance, but the price does go up as your list grows beyond 1,000 subscribers. So in conclusion, while both platforms have their merits, I personally lean towards recommending Beehive for most users. It offers more features, more user-friendly, and provides better value for money as you scale your newsletter. Its growth and monetization tools are particularly impressive, making it a great choice for those who want to turn their newsletter into a serious business. And with that, we will have reached the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comment section down below whether you have any other questions. And if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.